Clue aid two. This video provides training on how to use the cough assist. The training you are about to receive is specific to the Clearway 2 and is therefore not transferable to other devices. Coughing is the body's way of clearing the upper airways and throat. It's an important reflex to clear irritants, mucus or food and drink that has accidentally gone down the wrong way. Many people with neurological conditions have a weak cough because of breathing muscle weakness. This puts them at greater risk of getting a chest infection and needing to be in hospital. A cough is made up of three stages. The inspiratory phase, this is the ability to take a deep breath in to fill the lungs. The compression phase, the throat closes over to build up pressure and resistance in the lungs. Expiratory phase, the muscles around our ribs, abdomen and diaphragm contract causing a fast expel of air or cough as we know it. A weak cough can be caused by weak muscles, small lung breaths, a stiff and inelastic chest wall, or difficulty coordinating the stages of a cough. This can put the person at greater risk of getting a chest infection and needing to be in hospital. The cough assist helps to loosen, move and clear secretions to try and stop and reduce the risk of getting a chest infection. It helps with taking a deep breath in to increase the amount of air in the lungs. It then quickly switches to a negative pressure, which sucks the air out of the lungs, just like a cough, taking any secretions with it. Ideally, the cough assist should be used twice a day in the mornings and evenings. It can also be used throughout the day if you feel or hear secretions on your chest. Plug the power cord into the back of the device and into a mains power outlet. The Clearway 2 doesn't have a battery and must be connected to mains power to work. The grey sponge filter protects the device from dust and debris, whilst the white filter protects from pollen. Please avoid covering or blocking the filter. An SD card can store data, along with additional ports to connect accessories if required. To set the device up, connect the circuit onto the cough assist as shown. The filter protects from any buildup of bacteria. At the other end, attach the mask you'll be using. A green light will be displayed, indicating that the device is connected to AC power. Press the power button to turn the device on. The Clearway 2 will be in standby mode. A message reminding you to use a bacterial filter is in place and will be shown on the screen. The settings are displayed and have been set and locked by the Home and IV team so you cannot accidentally change them. The settings and number of coughs are specific to the individual. If you are unsure, please contact the Home and IV team who will help you. You can access the menu to adjust things like screen brightness and alarm volume. Here, you can also access the alarm log, which helps the Home and IV team to solve any issues with the device. Press preview treatment to show a graph of the treatment. Some people require assistance to hold the mask over their nose and mouth. Others may be able to do it themselves. Please check with the individual to ensure they are comfortable throughout. It's important to make sure a good seal is made throughout. This can be done by creating a C shape with your hand. When ready, press the start stop button. A graph will appear on screen showing the number of breaths and coughs. There are different modes on the cough assist, which may change your starting position. Some people are able to trigger the machine to start the cycle, whilst others require it to run automatically if it takes too much effort. If you are able to, take a deep breath in to start the cough assist. Some people find it helpful to watch the screen so they can know when to cough. The Home and IV team will advise you on the number of times to do this. You may need to do another cycle if you feel there are secretions on your chest to clear. The cough assist should not be used to clear food in the event of choking, as you can push the food further down the wrong way into your lungs. If connecting to a tracheostomy, use a catheter mount or tracheostomy connector. If the tracheostomy has a cuff, it's important to inflate it and reduce the amount of air leaking from the site. Use a catheter mount to connect the cough assist and press therapy to start treatment. To stop treatment, press the start stop button again. 
recruitment breaths help to take a deep breath again after the cough assist has sucked the air out of the lungs. This can be done by pressing recruitment breath and then the start stop button to begin. To turn the device off, press the power button on the front panel. Press the power button again to confirm. If you have a chest infection, it's important you keep using the cough assist. You can increase your use of the cough assist several times a day, but never for more than 30 minutes in any one session. We can set multiple profiles on the Clearway 2. Some people benefit from slightly higher pressures during a chest infection if they have lots of secretions to clear. To change between profiles, select Mode and then Profile 2. The Home and IV team will explain this more if this is required. If there is a problem with your cough assist, an alarm will sound and a yellow LED will flash. A message will appear on the screen to tell you the reason. If you are caring for someone, first check that they are okay. If you are unable to fix the problem, please contact the Home and IV team who will help you. The Home and IV team have assessed every person with a cough assist to make sure it's safe to be used. However, if anything changes, it's important you let us know. Contraindications to treatment include hemoptysis or coughing up blood, facial, skull or oral trauma and surgery, acute lung injury or pneumothorax, tracheobronchial fistula, bullous emphysema, vomiting and cardiovascular instability. The filters should be inspected weekly. The grey filter can be washed in warm water to remove any dust. The white filter is disposable and should be replaced when discoloured. The circuit should be replaced every month to prevent growth of bacteria and more frequently if you have a chest infection or increased secretion load. Tracheostomy circuits may be required to be changed more frequently. Use tissues to remove any secretions coughed into the mask between cycles and rinse in warm soapy water daily.